Research complete. My name is Fadi Kumar. Let's try a new tutorial about how we can read data from Excel sheet. Okay, this topic we already covered about the write data from LabVIEW. This topic we already covered in the previous tutorial about write data from LabVIEW. Okay, and the link in description. Okay, now let's come on the new one that is read data from Excel sheet. How we can do this? Now we are added in the previous uh, uh, tutorial about write data from LabVIEW. Okay, this, this is the code about write data uh, from LabVIEW to Excel. Okay, now we add it about how we can read data from excel okay now let's start uh, let's create a programming okay now what you do uh, you need to create a uh, case structure okay right now i'm click to remove case structure okay now uh, you see for better understanding now what do you do right click here come to structure and create a case structure okay like this okay now and you see there have a case uh, structure here and we can see a condition about uh, when you click to uh, true or we, you can give to the high value then it's come on this true otherwise give to false okay like this okay now we are add it in the false condition because in the true condition have this code in the previous code about the right data okay now let's come to read in the false how we can do this let's start first of all what you do uh, let's say I'm uh, control E now uh, you need to create an indicator okay this is your like control now what you do let's copy this same function okay because the same structure uh, one is like your numeric another is string okay now uh, right click here and change to uh, change to indicator like this okay this is your indicator okay now I'm change to read yes now right click here and uh, come to file info and you see there are two options write and read uh, right we already covered now let's come the read okay connect to here and first choose uh, which type of function like uh, in the uh, in your excel sheet uh, in excel sheet have a string that's why i'm uh, select to string okay and if you don't know about the how uh, about the string or a uh, what uh, what is the data type now come to true and in the starting have two uh, uh, we can say two data one is numeric other is string and help of this conversion we convert into two uh, string and help of build array we are uh, we, uh, we can say um, combine the two string in a 2d array okay 2d data same what you do come to false that's why i'm selecting a string now you see they have lots of function file path now click and connect to this file path okay same location and uh, okay this is a format not need and very important that is uh, uh, yes delimit right click and create a constant and uh, enter comma okay yes now let's first uh, we need to uh, like a 2d array all row okay we need all row that's why we need to like a indexing now uh, how we can create indexing right click <coughs> right click come to structure and create a for loop like this yes now you see have all row click and connect to this terminal and you see this is the indexing auto indexing tunnel okay one by one is given the value okay right now what you do first we need to uh, like uh, uh, bundle by name right click and come to cluster and unbundle by name yes unbundle by name uh, sorry uh, yes 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 okay first what you do first uh, right click here come to array and uh, let's uh, uh, index array okay now connect to this terminal okay and increase expand and you see there are number of elements but right now we are using two elements why we are uh, choose two element because uh, right file uh, you see there have a two function temp and message okay that's why i'm choose only two element okay and uh, first element second element now what do we do uh, right click here and come to cluster and you see unbundle 
okay and you see they have cluster and output cluster output cluster is this one okay and uh, this is your cluster right what you do right click here and uh, create a constant okay now uh, remove this wire and uh, choose this cluster okay uh, remove this cluster okay and delete this array okay and double click on this uh, sorry sorry don't save double click on the output or we can say cluster okay like this yes now uh, click this one and connect to this terminal okay and you see they have a automatic created two function the one is uh, integer and other is string okay now how we can connect to this one first connect to string to string and second you not able to connect uh, this numeric to string you see face error okay now what you do let's create a conversion okay right click come to string conversion uh, yes conversion okay now you see uh, number to decimal string okay and this is string to number okay string to number uh, i'm choose this one okay and you see they have string function connect and this is number now connect to this one okay all done now let's directly connect to the your output okay and uh, clean up your diagram uh, yes yes all done okay now uh, let's click to run press ctrl e let's try it's working or not uh, let's i'm click to run uh, okay uh, let's i'm um, turn off this and click to run and you see uh, i breed 90 and temperature uh, temp normal okay let's see uh, this data have in excel sheet or not now open your directory and you see when i open this my file for the data and you see 19 temperature it's read okay 19 temperature normal okay now if you need to read uh, all data how you can do this first you uh, not need to do but only you need to expand this uh, array like this okay you see all four elements here okay if you need to uh, like we can say write the data how uh, let's i am enter here uh, one 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 i am enter here uh, lab view okay and remember you need to click on this one okay why because you see this is the right button okay this is what we can say case uh, condition if when you press this switch then it's come to true and if when you enter in this condition then write the data in your excel sheet okay when this uh, switch is off that time come to a uh, false condition and it's time read from your excel sheet okay now uh, maybe you understand now let's i'm um, click to uh, on okay for uh, enter this data on my excel sheet uh, first of all uh, you face uh, some error like you see you see why because your excel sheet is right now it's open that's what you do first click to stop and turn off or we can say close your excel sheet let's click to run again and this all done now let's check the data open again and uh, you'll now you see that is brought on your uh, excel sheet okay help with this you can easy to do if again you read uh, this data how you can do and uh, again increase this path and you see when i click to turn off this and again run and you see 111 in lab view okay help with this you can easy to read n number of data okay thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys